Now in keeping with the previous episode, the old bakery theme, today we're doing sausage rolls. Funnily enough, this recipe has been on my list for three years now. And the reason I didn't do it initially was such a stupid one and, and one that, you know, whatever. It was because All For Adventure made sausage rolls like the week I was planning to originally. And I thought, oh, I don't want to look like I'm copying them because I was just starting out and I hadn't really done it. So I didn't want to look like I was copying Jason. Oh, stood on a prickle. Um, anyway, I don't care about any of that stuff now. I'm making sausage rolls because they're delicious. And we're going to do three different types. Let's get into it. All right, start with egg into a something. Fred, come here. Sit. Good boy. Turn up. Loves an eggshell, that dog. Loves an eggshell. Crunchy, tastes like egg. It's great. Good thing to do with them. All right, so we're just making a little egg wash here, which is literally just an egg beaten up. And I've got a little paintbrush. Uh, this is just a Bunnings paintbrush, natural fibers, not plastic. I think it was two dollars and I've had it for years. So definitely a good thing to keep in your kit. They are very useful. So the classic sausage roll ingredient. Oh, these sausages are smaller than I thought. Story of my life. The classic one is basically a pork sausage. Get a little petty knife, some puff pastry. You want to let this thaw out and defrost and get soft. So I'll get the sausage made out. This is a pork Cumberland sausage, um, which is just a traditional English pork sausage. These are my favorite for things like bangers and mash. So they've got, this has a very fine grind of meat. You can go for a coarser one and I actually pref probably prefer a little, a little bit coarser. It's just that this was the butcher I was next to when I was shopping. Oh, come on, Fred, come here. Sit. Poor. Poor. Good boy. Yeah, you can have some sausage casings. People complain that I don't feed Fred. And the reality is I don't feed him off the table usually because otherwise he begs. So I make him do things for his food. And that takes time on camera. But I had so many requests to show me, show that I do actually care for my dog. And that I do give him a little bit of food every now and again but I would never feed him off my plate. Hey, go away, see? Look, he's begging now. Go on, go away, go away. Then I like to add a little bit of a spice mix, which I just mixed up at home. Uh, and that is a combination of onion powder, garlic powder, um, <clears throat> some ground up fennel seeds, and um, something else, nutmeg. And just kind of work that into the sausage made a little bit. Pretty vague, pretty rough now. Roll this up, get through the plastic. It's gonna be a very small sausage roll. Chop this up into, look, we all know that small sausage rolls are better. And the reason small sausage rolls are better is because they have more crispy bits. They have more burnt ends. <clears throat> Whereas on a big sausage roll, you only get the two sort of the crispy burnt end bits. Grab some baking paper. Egg wash on there. A few sesame seeds. Now this is a bit rogue, but I like it. <clears throat> Set your salt grinder to the coarsest setting, and then a few big bits of coarse salt. Now you notice I didn't put salt inside the in the meat. Um, that's because it's already it's a sausage. It's already salty. So those off to the side, and we'll get into the next ones. This is. Probably the easiest one that you can do. And that is go and get yourself some nice um, rissoles. And I've got these from Troy's. They are jalapeno rissole, jalapeno, jalapeno and cheese rissole. And that, that's it. It's just literally just get the rissole and put it in. This is gonna be a nice fat one. So these will take a different amount of time to cook. Yeah, better to saw it than push through. Same again, bit of coarse salt. 
few sesame seeds. Black sesame seeds look even better. And I'm gonna throw those in the camp oven now while we start the ingredients for the second one, second batch. Good thing is you don't have to wash your camp oven up for this because you use the baking paper. Let's get that on the heat. Little bit of heat underneath, probably 15% heat underneath, and then lots of heat on top. Now the best way to get lots of top heat is add a bit of wood to actually burn and get flame going. Oh, so this breeze is gonna make these cook quickly. So gonna be very careful. Now I've just realized that I forgot the ingredients for the third one. So I guess we're doing two sausage rolls today. Still, these are the two I'd most likely do because they're the easiest. Man, there are like just enough prickles that I'm getting done but not enough that I'm willing to put on shoes. So it's like once every hour I get a good solid double G in the foot. I don't like shoes. All right, well, I just checked these after about 20 minutes and that bloody wind has done a number on them. Not then far from ruined, but they're also far from perfect. So I'll show you what we've ended up with. If you're wondering why the wind is so impactful, think about blowing on a fire. It burns hotter, so those coals on the top are uh, seriously going. It's been about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I'd say. Ooh, 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 shit. Nope, nope, still good, it's only grass. <laughs> Weird spread out. All right, hey look. Actually great. Look at that. Like they're dark brown on the top of some of them, but like overall they look good. Bottom's perfect. Yeah, I actually reckon that's pretty good. Well, these need to cool down a bit, which shouldn't be hard in this wind. So let's do some B-roll and we'll get into it. Now, same as my pies, I like sauce, so sue me. Let's try one of these little suckers. Not bad. Probably could have done with a little bit more salt. Pastry is great, it's cooked perfectly. I think I prefer a coarser grind, so that's maybe the sausage's fault. Try one of these guys. Oh yeah, that's me. Mm. Yeah, all right, good to know. The um, Rissole sausage roll is the way to go. So get yourself some Rissoles, some puff pastry, no other steps other than, well, Get some sesame seeds for the top. And an egg. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's a go. Oh. Gotta be thorough. IPA. Actually better than the pie. Yeah, that's the way. <clears throat> All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Go and make these at camp. Oh, and by the way, doing that and then putting it in a, <clears throat> I can't believe I'm saying this, but a travel body would actually be really good.